All right, cheating bitch girlfriend. Oh, Jesus. Hey, you red faced fuck. <laughs> I don't know why I find that shit so endearing. Um, showed you what the fuck's wrong with me. All right. About a month ago, I started dating this lady. She seemed really quiet and pretty innocent. After about a week, I realized... I just pictured that woman in that Vince Vaughn movie, The uh, Wedding Crashers. Um, whoever that actress was was fucking hilarious in that movie. Anyways, after about a week, I realized that her last boyfriend was a total freak. Like jean shorts and shit. Fuck, what do you mean freak? Like a weirdo? Or was fucking, you know, having threesomes with this chick? Anyways, like jean shorts and shit. Fuck. So I did my best to just ignore that and have fun together. I was, in my opinion, a great boyfriend to her. I took her on a lot of dates and it seemed like everything was perfect. And this was my first girlfriend. I'm only 16 and pretty introverted. So having a girlfriend was a big step for me. Yeah, that's huge. Good for you, man. Anyways, after a few weeks, she started acting weird. One day at lunch, she told me that her old weird boyfriend and her had sex before school that day. And they also had sex a couple of other times while we were going out. I didn't know what to say, and it really fucked me up. She even said it wasn't her fault, and I shouldn't be mad. Oh, you know what? I was actually going to... Can't give this girl props for being mature enough to own up to what the fuck she did. Uh, and then she said that. Don't be mad at me. Um, after a fight, I told her to fuck. I told her to fuck and left. I think fuck off is what you meant. Because she's already fucking, dude. You don't need to tell her. You should have told her to, to less fuck. To ex nay on the fuck a. Um, she then started saying that it was my fault. I don't know what I did wrong. Oh, you poor bastard. You're only 16 years old, right? So you, you, you didn't have your deflector shields up. Is that what it is? Did you say you were 16, right? What the fuck was that? I'm only 16. Okay. So now everyone knows at school because high school is bullshit. Um, I know I, I'm now known by everyone, including my family, as the guy who got cheated on. This bitch not only made me feel like shit, but also kind of ruined the whole aspect of finding a nice girl. I don't trust them and feel as if I will never move on. Yeah, these are the catastrophic thoughts you have when you're 16. Uh, because your world is small. You're still living at home with your parents. You go to school. You see the same fucking cunts every day. And you feel like the walls are closing in. All of these feelings, 100% normal. Um, how, do you, how do you move on after being fucked over like that? The only things I've done is got a job and started lifting weights. Maybe then when school starts again, I can show up shredded and do better next year. There you go. I like it. Turn a negative into a positive. Um, here's the thing. You're a nice guy, right? You're a nice guy. Uh, well, you know, so that means there's the nice woman out there that balances you out, right? If you're a dick, there's plenty of cunts out there, but you're a nice guy. So what I would do is uh, I would thank my lucky stars that that fucking woman is out of your life. You know, <clears throat> she's totally fucked up, right? She's going to go back to the jean short guy and they're going to fuck before school and they're going to do all of this other shit. And uh, who gives a fuck? I don't understand how, like, I don't know how... how there's no reason for you, just me listening to this, why you should feel bad about yourself. I get, you know, I, I got cheated on, you know, it's happened to everybody. And uh, it makes you just more feel stupid is what it is. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to count the amount of times that's happening to me. The first girl I was with was like fucking way older than me. I went from like zero to 90 miles an hour and fucking. <laughs> yeah, she ended up cheating on me and breaking up a fucking marriage. And. Uh, how did I? Oh, I remember how I, I didn't even know. I ended up running into the wife of the guy that she cheated with. And then they were broken up and she told me. And. I just, my, I just remember my thought, which I just went like, huh. 
you know, and there was a lot in that because it just let me know that, uh, you know, I just thought guys did shit like that. You know, I thought we were just the fucking animals. And it was just like, wow. So she was doing that and then come home and smile. Yeah. And that fucked me up for a long fucking time. Yeah. You know what? And I didn't trust women. You know, and I started lifting weights. Did I write this thing 20 years ago? What the fuck? No. Um, yeah, dude, this is the deal. You know, it's going to take time to get over it, but, you know, you're going to meet somebody nice. And I think, yeah, you're in the prime of your life. You throw the weights around a little bit. You show up fucking shredded, right? And then you show, yeah, show up in September and just start chatting up the women. And this is the thing, too. Women love a fucking, they love a project. You know, so you can use the fact that this woman cheated on you that, oh, you know, I, I have problems trusting fucking women. And now oh, they'll just they'll, they'll be coming at you. Be beating them off with a fucking stick. All right. Yeah, dude, fuck that. This is the thing. You don't ever let it. Anytime anything bad happens in life, you don't ever you don't let it. You know, there's two things you can do. You can either just fucking. I don't know. I, I, I view like that, those types of thoughts like, you know, when you watch like Bugs Bunny and they would have like that weight that just said one ton on it. I view like that. That's what that thought is. All right. And you're standing next to a fucking pool. All right. And the thing's got a chain around it. And you either just fucking let it go to the bottom of the pool itself or you stick your head in the chain and wrap it around your neck and you let it take you down. And then you're just down there in the bottom of the pool. You know? Why would you do that? Fuck it. Fuck, fuck her. Just let that whole thing. I'm not saying don't deal with it, but you got to turn it into a positive, which is what you seem to be doing. Fucking work out and chat up a bunch of women. This is the thing. Maybe, uh, you know, start your list of fucking requirements. Your test, your lock the door test to maybe to try to get a good one. Uh, you know, women always say find a good, uh, finding a good, a good man's hard to find. So's a good woman. So what this woman did, is uh, help you start early on a checklist because I didn't start a checklist for a long fucking time. You know, I was well into my 30s and I was still just like, hey, you want to fuck? Every, all, everything on, you do, everything on my list is checked off, you know? All right, here we go. All-time underrated quarterbacks. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Shake it off. It's fucking your fault. That's that, that, that poor woman, she's got a lot of issues and I bet she has a terrible father. You know, so in a way you can look at it like that because, you know, she is young and immature. But if she continues to live her life that way, that is that is a bad fucking road to go on. You know, that's fucking white Zinfandales or the red wine, gray teeth with the fucking tramp stamp. She's going to go down that one. Ugh. And the piece of shit guy she's going to meet. Jean Shorts will be the least of her problems. I hope that doesn't happen to her either. 